Now, prohibitory orders are in place in South Delhi's Trilokpuri area which saw incidents of violence. Section 144 has been clamped and forces continue to patrol. Personnel of the Delhi police are deployed in the areas to maintain peace. The situation is now under control with no fresh incidents of clashes. But the residents of this crowded locality have been hit hard. Shops and business establishments have been shut leading to a scarcity of essential commodities. People from the area are being forced to shell out a premium or go to markets located in areas like adjoining Mayur Vihar to get essential commodities like food and medicine. The Delhi police has meanwhile promised a crackdown against anyone found vitiating the atmosphere. All right, we're getting breaking news on that story. The Congress today has demanded the resignation of the Lieutenant Governor and the Home Minister over the entire Trilokpuri incident. They have accused the LG of holidaying abroad or not taking care of the state that he is governing. That's the latest bit of breaking news that we are getting in at this point of time. Delhi is under Governor rule and the Congress has now directly asked for the resignation of the LG for his inability to control the riots. काफी दिक्कत हो रही है दूध जो मिलता है बीस का वो मिला सौ साठ में और खाने पीने की परेशानी नहीं तो निकल ही नहीं पा रहे मिल ही नहीं रहा बड़ी मुश्किल से किसी भी एक दो मिल भी रहा तो वो भी नहीं महंगा ही मिल रहा था ज़्यादा तकलीफ हो रही है यहाँ से निकलना बिल्कुल बेकार होता है मेरे बच्चे की भी तबीयत खराब है उसको डॉक्टर तक की दुकान पर ले नहीं जा पा रहे उसको भी घर में देख रहा है महंगी वाली पहले तो मिल रहा और जो दे रहा तो मजबूरी का फायदा उठा रहे हैं साहब इतनी महंगी महंगी चीज़ें देख रहे हैं कुछ मिल ही नहीं रहा बच्चे तक के दूध तक पड़ो उसमें से मांग के जा रहा है we have with us Joint Commissioner Mr. Sanjay Beniwal to speak to us on the situation in Tirlokpuri. Sir, so strict prohibitory orders had to be imposed to bring the situation under control. What is the situation now? Yes, we have to impose restrictions on the general movement of the public in the affected area. But yes, the situation is now under control. And uh, we hope uh, it will continue to improve further. People have been requested to abide by the lawful legal orders and to help us in maintaining peace which is evident from the fact that we have no major event for more than 24 hours. So I believe the situation is fast getting towards normalization. Apparently uh, you have come down quite heavily on the people who have criminal backgrounds. Is that true? How many people have you arrested so far? We have arrested about uh, uh, more than 40, 45 people already in the three days. Yes, there are some people who are of criminal background also. Uh, but in a situation when a public order is impacted, uh, we, no, we don't see the background. We see the involvement. And those who have been found involved have been arrested. And those who are not found involved were not arrested. Yes. Sir, people, uh, there are different sort of complaints of people saying that essential commodities are not available, milk for children, and uh, uh, people are holding things, selling pr commodities at exorbitant prices. What are you doing about it? When uh, uh, restrictions under 144 happens, uh, the first priority is to restore public order. And when you restore public order, the general life will get impacted. Given that, now that the situation is fast approaching normalization, we have taken steps to restore essential supplies. We have tied up with uh, the DMS and uh, Mother Dairy to supply milk in mo mobile vans. We will be allowing the women and the children to buy milk. We are arranging uh, supply of vegetables also and we are tying up with the gas agencies also mm -hmm. to supply gases in case if uh, some household requires mm -hmm. under our escort. Mm -hmm. Those arrangements... 